Thank you as always, Dan. Well, as Salt Lake City becomes more and more diverse, city officials want public safety departments to be a reflection of that. They're looking to hire people from varying backgrounds. Salt Lake City Fire is one of the departments looking for new people. ABC 4's Brittany Johnson went to find out why diversity matters. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Gary Perkins is proud to be serving his community. I've been a firefighter for about 18 and a half years now. He was recruited to the job by another African-American man. He brought me to a station. I went on a ride along, um, several phone calls, and um, I was all in. And as Salt Lake City continues to grow, Perkins says more diversity in the department is needed. I think it makes a huge difference. Perkins told me how he was able to help defuse the situation between police and another African-American man. You know, it was a time when when we had a lot of uh, police officer shootings on, on men of color and, and we had a, a guy walking down the river, he was armed and, and police had him surrounded, they had weapons drawn on him. Everyone walked away unharmed. Since 2016, Salt Lake City Fire has averaged an increase from 0.13% to 6.13% across several ethnic groups. Of the 1,111 who applied to take the test in 2018, 9.6% were female. 19.9% of males were ethnically diverse. Darby Egbert is the recruitment and outreach coordinator. She says diversity doesn't just mean color or gender. If you speak a different language or multiple different languages, I think that's incredibly valuable if you come from a different socioeconomic background. All of these things just help us to better serve the community. The department is working to ensure they're progressive and accessible to everyone. Females, LGBT, whatever, you know, whomever may be interested in uh, working in one of these positions to, you know, go for it. Well, that was ABC4's Brittany Johnson. So whether you're interested in being a firefighter, police officer, dispatcher, social worker, or anything else that falls under public safety, there's a job fair this Saturday from 10 to 2 p.m. at the Horizonte Instruction and Training Center. Details, of course, on our website at abc4.com.